Hey guys, what's going on? It's another Saturday, so I'm gonna head out west. Uh, I really enjoyed the video last week where I went and visited the, you know, just those kind of abandoned areas out in the desert. Um, so I wanna do more of that. But today I'm actually gonna head to a massive art installation. Uh, it's about 30 miles west of Ogden, but it's about 70 miles to get there. So we are gonna head out that way. And by we, I mean, I got Dewey in the back. I don't know if you can see him in the video or not, but uh, it'll be his first time out there. It's a place that I really enjoy visiting. It's called the Spiral Jetty. You might've heard of it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to get there. And I mean, I guess you could just put it into Google Maps if you're from this area, but might as well show the landmarks on how to know if you're on the right path. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this. So to get out to the Spiral Jetty, you head north out of Ogden uh, towards Brigham City on I-15. You go about 15 miles and the exit is 365, 365. And you head out west towards Marin. All right, so I took the exit uh, 365. Now we're gonna head west for about 20 miles through the town of Corinne on Highway uh, 13. So, yeah, we're making our way out there. come out to the spiral jetty you might as well stop by the rocket display um, there's a company out here they're owned by Northrop Grumman now but everyone around here still calls them ATK or even Thicol but they're responsible for building the boosters on the space shuttle and other rockets and they do a lot of testing and development out here in fact I was lucky enough to see a rocket test once it's pretty remarkable but they have a lot of the uh, rockets and stuff that they've built out on display out in front of the, the headquarters. So it's, it's only a couple more miles up the road after the turnoff. So you'll see signs for it as you come out. gonna take a minute whoa dude pulled me <laughs> just gonna ch take a minute to check out the rocket display it's pretty cool though Inside this giant tube. Let go! Dewey will not come in. So, yeah, this is about two miles past the turnoff on Highway, Utah Highway 13. So totally worth it. Just come read the plaques, if you're into geocaching. There's geocaching, or there's a geocache out here. This is the booster that they use for the space shuttle. Look how massive it is. So this is what the inside of a rocket looks like. This is, I believe, solid rocket fuel. Well, not this exactly, but uh, what it looks like 
it's the same concept as those little model rockets that you shoot. There is liquid fuel. Um, in a space shuttle, that big orange tank, I believe, was liquid fuel. And then the reusable rockets were, were uh, solid, filled with a solid rocket boost, booster. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna head out. Also along this route is the Golden Spike Historic Monument. This is where the two railways came together when they're building the Transcontinental Railway. Um, if you're not from Northern Utah, you'll see a lot of references to the Golden Spike, and that was in reference to the last spike that they drove when the two railroads meet and it met, and it happened out here at Promontory. Um, talked a little bit about you know, railroad history being a big part of Utah in last week's video. So we'll jump out and take a look at that as well. I've actually never been to the celebration. Um, they reenact the two trains coming together. <clears throat> so I'm just in the parking lot of the visitor center. I'm not gonna go in, but this is it, the Golden Spike. National Historic Monument. I've actually never been in there, but that's not why I'm out here today. I'm here to see the Spiral Jetty. You can kind of see back there. That's where they do the little celebration. And then behind this hill, there's a storage shed, and I think that's where they actually keep the locomo locomotives so. but off into the desert we go well, we're already in the desert but even deeper so now we're on a dirt road the pavement actually ends at the golden spike visitor center so if you don't like dirt roads maybe this isn't for you but yeah it's about 15 miles past that so there should be some signs uh, there is a sign once you hit the dirt road that says 15 miles, uh, but there's a couple of turnoffs up here, and I believe there's a little sign that says spiral jetties. Make sure to point that out. There's a sign that'll say Spiral Jetty 10 miles. I think that that's the only turnoff, and then you get to the parking lot of the Spiral Jetty. So we're getting closer. It takes a little bit longer than normal when you're trying to film and uh, do some cool shots. But hey, uh, might as well give you guys the experience that I'm having. So yeah, well, let's keep going. Dewey is ready to run around. I don't know what kind of landscapes you're into, if you like the forest, the mountains, the desert. Uh, I like all of them, but I mentioned this in my last video, the desert just is kind of a, more of a mystery place for me. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the desert, a lot of stuff that we don't know about. And so anyway, it's really beautiful out here. I really enjoy this drive because, mainly because of the scenery. Um, off in the distance, you'll begin to see the Great Salt Lake. And I think to myself, what this area would be like if it wasn't the Great Salt Lake, if it was a big freshwater lake. 
you know right now there's no buildings around the lake there's no development okay I did lie as I'm driving here there's another sign where you turn right and it says spiral jetty nine miles so now I think we're on the final road so you'll see the 10 mile marker then there will be a nine mile marker and uh, yeah this looks this looks familiar it's been a few years since I've been out here but back to what I was saying uh, if, if the Great Salt Lake was not just salt then I think we'd have buildings and cities just right up to the brim of the lake but uh, as it is pretty nasty as you get close to the lake it makes sense why everything's kind of built away from the lake but I just can't help but think how different this area would be uh, if the lake wasn't salty anyway random driving thought we're getting closer all right we're pulling up to the spiral jetty now this is actually the highest I've seen the lake to the jetty in a long time um, yeah let's go explore all right there it is spiral jetty I think it was built in the 70s I'll put more information about it uh, in the description below but we'll uh, we'll walk out there just to hopefully give you an idea of how big it is oh looks like do we dropped a present gotta go get it it's not too busy out here today but there's this cool new addition just you can come and sit on this bench and admire the view let's go down there so I'm walking out onto the spiral jetty now um, it can get sandy it can get muddy and if you step in the salty areas then your shoes get caked in salt or maybe this will give you an idea of how big it is it sticks out into the great salt lake depending on how much water we get in a year sometimes the water can come all the way up to it sometimes it's been completely submerged but we've had a lot of dry summers so that's not the case but as I was mentioning this is the closest I've seen the water to the jetty in a while so maybe have to come visit when more snow melts because it really does look cool <laughs> you gotta watch your step too it's not the easiest thing to walk on out here between the sand and the lava rocks. But Dewey's loving it. What do you smell, Dewey? It's just barren out here. I brought my drone so we can get some nice aerials. So you can't really tell, but we're in the center of the jetty. You know, I don't think I've ever walked the full spiral. I just cut across, but... <laughs> Dewey just tasted the salt water. Poor guy. Dewey, you can't drink it. Here I am, right in the center. There's rocks and desert all around. What do you say we see what it looks like from above?
pretty cool shots with the old drone here. Didn't malfunction, so that's good. Uh, a few more people showed up with that group out there. But yeah, hopefully the drone shows you just how big this thing is. Again, uh, built in the 70s. Can't remember the name of the artist. Shortly after that, it flooded. And uh, yeah, but it's still here. I think it'll be here for years to come. Maybe archaeologists will study it in 2,000 years or more. But it's getting pretty cold. Dewey's getting restless. I don't know why. I don't know what his story is. He did try to drink salt water. But uh, yeah, I'm going to climb up the hill and get some shots from up there. And then I think we'll call it a day. I need to head back gonna head up to this little podium here maybe it'll tell me the name of the artist I think this was this little podium thing was built by a boy scout okay here we go 2014 1970 Robert Smithson there we go he only lived three years after he built it that's too bad I like it before you smell. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to do more of these little expeditions out to the desert. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. And you know, as it warms up and things dry out, I'll do some more hikes around my house. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoy kind of getting off the beaten path and seeing what there is to offer. But if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. You gotta subscribe. You gotta like it. Let me know your thoughts. The spiral Jetty. Hope you have a good week. See you next time.